And yeah, just a quick one before this vlog slash little thing that I'm trying um, start. This video is just like dedicated to my great auntie Rebecca, who sadly just passed away. Um, yeah, it was like really sad, obviously for all the family and stuff. But she's out of pain now; she's in a better place. So, rest in peace, Rebecca. So, <laughs> you've just been in prison, do you like Ben? Oh, I just don't know what I was shit myself to like, but it was really good. It was. Do you know what? That is like one of the most interesting things I've ever done. Even though it was like based on Molly and she was doing most of the talking. It was like how you pitch in prison. I know no, that again, that was actually, one that was one part. Fuck, of, it looked like a community sense of it, like a youth club I used to go to in Heighton. <laughs> prison would be like No, that was like I don't know, like the bars and stuff were there, but then like <laughs> the cages. <laughs> and then we just walked in and there was like ten Ten lads just there, and they were just. It was weird. Yeah. Really. It was cool. I was like, they were all trying to do like, something with them, productive, yeah, yeah, rather than just sit around. And that ginger lad was a bit scary. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, "You make videos, bro." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I don't know, no, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do drugs and don't go to prison, kids. Yeah, especially. but if you do, get into the little radio club because it was that good. Yeah. Anyway, that's for the Molly uh, documentary that we did. Oh, that will go up on Friday, last, last, last Friday, Friday, so yeah. go and check it out. So go and check it out, yeah. Anyway. Take me home, man! <laughs> yeah, so, uh, if you haven't seen the latest Molly vlog, link's in the description, but me and Ben went to prison on Wednesday. And yeah, it was like a proper eye-opening experience. Um, the people that I met, was it was nothing like how I expected. Um, they were really like you know trying to improve like I've just said then with Ben in the car like they were really trying to improve themselves better themselves and stuff like that I was telling someone about this and someone else over here them was like oh they're, they're in Walton prison they're definitely a rapist and stuff like that I was like what? I was like are you having a laugh? And I was like how narrow minded could someone be to think that? and then he carried on going on he was like you know blah 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 you know same with talk stuff and stuff and I was like I said, uh, uh, where'd you start with that? Obviously they're a criminal, but the things that they're some horrible rapist. Um, that if you're from Toxteth, you act a certain way, and that comes back to the stigma of scousers are all being robbers, and it really, that is one thing, especially one stereotype, obviously with me being a scouser, like, really gets to me. For you, like an annoying person that just clearly has got the narrowest mind in the world, this sort of sparked the idea of this video off. One of the more common stereotypes is to call perhaps someone who is a little flamboyant or um, maybe not your typical sort of person. Uh, a queen. The most common is about foreign people, as, uh, for example, or someone that you, a culture that you don't know, but you think to know something that is really, really small, and after just things that you know. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Obviously, look, if it's nothing that obviously I know these videos are not going to change the world. I 100% get that. But just sometimes, like sometimes, I just feel like people are so like so ignorant and like oh, it's just it's stressful it is very stressful and um, to be honest I wanted this video to be a lot better um, I wanted to go around ask loads of people and stuff like that like what their thoughts was and you know make this big thing out of it but obviously at the start of the video you heard what I said and I'm not really feeling up to going around speaking to loads of people but it is something that I think more of us should do is just go and speak to people and 
bloody network and stuff like that. You never know that person that you are not speaking to because of a stereotype or because of you think something like, I know a load of people probably don't speak to scouts because they think, oh, well, the robbers. And it's just so stupid. than that person that you're stereotyping and not speaking to could possibly be your next business partner, your next girlfriend or whatever. Your boyfriend, I don't know what stereotyping. But you Thanks for watching this anyway, um, I'm sorry if you, you're young, uh, just ignore this like next like 20 seconds, but if you're, there's a pigeon just landing on the ship, if you're like um, the knobhead that really like angered me and like for the whole purpose of this video was to just be like, just, just to prove how much of a knobhead he is, Dave by the way if you're ever wondering, if anyone's ever wondering, I don't know his second name. Um, just don't be, just if people are nice to you, be nice to them and if they're not nice to you then don't be nice to them and then the world's a better place, don't go around stereotyping, assuming people are this and assuming people are that because life is really too short yeah. and yeah, well then again I'm drinking coffee out of a mug with my name on it, that's spelt wrong so don't really listen to me, I don't know shit <laughs>